What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Trucking Name J Man checking in, checking in. AKA FaceTime Daddy, AKA Mr. 1099. Bro, we are out here in Might as well say we like almost the Winslow, Arizona, I think. Yeah. Somewhere around here in the desert in Arizona. Headed back to the East Coast, man, and man, I gotta tell you, man, we've been running. We have been running. Uh, when I came back out on this road, I went up to Wisconsin on a thousand mile low, boom, went from Wisconsin, dropped down to in, in, uh, Illinois, picked up a load, took that to Fresno, Cali, that was about 22, 2300. Uh, got to Fresno, went up to Pittsburgh, Cali, uh, picked that load up, went down to Alloy, Arizona, down south of uh, Phoenix, off of 8, middle of nowhere. Got back, uh, got I got reloaded for a backhaul back up the goddamn Pittsburgh, Cali. That total was like 1,750 miles. Now we we deadheaded like 300 miles, uh, mind you. As a company driver here, VL Trucking, you get paid all miles. So we deadheaded down 300 some miles to Rancho Chucamundo, where we picked up this load, and now we headed out to Indiana about 2400 mile low you know what i mean hey bro let's it's it's we running you know what i mean like we we is running you know what i'm saying so uh that's really why i haven't done videos in the last couple of days man it's just that I've been busy <laughs> like be honest man i'm like driving six to seven hundred miles a day well not in cali i pretty much i was in cali for like a week so i probably was doing closer to like 550 to 600 because you know you got to be careful with the speed limit over there. I'm not going to say whether or not I'm going to drive in the, uh, above the speed limit because VL Truck and watch my videos, so I drive the speed limit at all times, you know what I mean? So, um, but anyways, um, yeah, man, we just out here running, making money, establishing relationships, man. It's just things are going really good, man, you know what I mean? Um, so what I want to do in this video very briefly is do a 30-day review a VL trucking. I've been getting a lot of questions about the company, a lot of emails, phone calls. Uh, I actually have established a new phone number um, for, uh, actually, I need to change it because I have a phone number through a sideline app, but I'm paying for it. And, so, you know, D-Rise told me I could do the Google joint. Um, so I need to stop being lazy and set that up, but uh, I will eventually. But um, shout out to the people that's come to the company because of me. Shout out to the people who was here and referred me here. Shout out to everybody at VL Trucking, man. Like, people going to talk shit. People going to say what they want. We over here getting to a bag, bro. Period. That's just, that's my 30-day review. We out here running. Period. I ain't finna come up here and try to oversell a company or none of that shit, bro. Like, if you're looking to make money, this is, is the place to be. Get your hazmat, get your tanker endorsement, and call these folk and come get a bag. Now, if you're looking for different things, like if you're looking to be home more, if you're looking for, you know, a special situation, then maybe don't even call them, man. You know what I mean? There ain't no favoritism here. There ain't none of that shit. It's just straight up and down. Get in the truck and let's run these miles. Period. That's just what it is. That's just... To, for somebody like me that needs to, you know, make a lot of money, uh, or who wants to make a lot of money, this is the place. This is the place to do it. Like, VL Trucking, to me, fits everybody's situation. If you're just trying to come somewhere and have consistent bread all year round, this is the spot. If you're trying to come somewhere and lease a truck, you know, or if you're an owner-operator that wants to lease his truck onto this company, this the spot you know i got i got owner rock buddies that's sending me that selling and shout out to time to shine the brother out here making stupid money i'm not gonna put his business out there but he making stupid money i leave that for him to put in the comments if he want how much he making as an owner operator with his truck leased on if you if you don't have a truck and you want to lease a truck here i got lease operators here that's making three to five thousand dollars that's through this their lease program that they have here at VL Truck, and I've seen the settlements. And from the money that I'm making as a company driver, I'm here to tell you, it it just makes sense. Like there's no, it, it, it you know, it's just. Again, I'm not trying to oversell nothing, man. Like if you don't believe me, 
you ain't gotta believe me, but I'm just sharing my experience as I've always had. You feel what I'm saying? Um, it's the money is here. Like if you if you wanna if you somebody that have aspirations to have their own truck one day or fleet or whatever, and you're just trying to go somewhere where you can stack a lot of money um, to do that, just the spot. But if you somebody that like you wanna be home every two weeks, you know, and you wanna stay home longer than normal, don't come here. I'm gonna just be honest with you. This ain't the spot for you unless you're an owner operator or a lease operator and then you can play that game of going home when you want you know because of how you budget your money but on the company side um if you're trying to get to the crib every two weeks it, it, it this ain't the place go to somewhere like abilene or a regional company this is an otr like they gonna run you where the money at. Like there's not no set location you gonna run. You gonna go where the money. Like right now, California on fire. Everything coming out of Cali is like two dollars and thirty, two dollars and forty cent or better. I mean, you got loads coming out of Cali going east. That's paying five, six, seven grand on the drive-in. Like regular drive-in, freight drive-in, and hazmat freight, reefer freight is uh, uh, paying ridiculous. From what I've heard, I can't verify that, but from what I've heard, but you know what I mean? It's just, you know, it is what it is, man. You gotta have a set uh, goal of what your goal is when you choose to come and pick a company. You know, if you're trying to go home more, go with a company that's gonna get you home more. If you wanna be home, go with a company that's gonna keep you home. But if you're trying to make bread and you're trying to run, find you a company that's gonna run you and, and, and don't care about all that other bullshit. You just gonna run and make bread. This is the spot to be at. But who am I? I'm just a job hopper that's had like 20 jobs in the last five years. If anything, that should tell you something. If I've had multiple jobs, wouldn't I be able to, shouldn't I be able to give you better perspective of shit? In my mind, that's you know how I look at it, but who knows how other people look at it. I really don't care. I don't got time for the non-believers or the naysayers or whatever, because some niggas probably broke and only making $1,200 a week, which ain't nothing wrong with that. But I just choose to live a better life. I just choose to uh, chase after a little bit more money. That's just me. You know, I choose to uh, not settle. Me personally. You know, my family's cool with it, and... It's just, it's just, it's just life is easier, man. Like money isn't everything, but it helps a lot. And I'm just to the point now in life where with the things that I'm trying to accomplish short term, medium term and long term, I just really don't want to see too many checks under $2,000. People call me crazy, but as long as I'm willing to do what I need to do to make the $2,000, which is run and invest correctly and, and do, you know, sit like that. You know what I mean? What's stopping me? There's too much money out here, man. Know your worth. Period. You got to know your worth. And at the end of the day, a lot of people come out here in life and they just don't understand their worth. So they'll settle for, you know, a lower paying situation because they feel like that's all of their worth at the end of the day. You know what I mean? That's, you know, nothing wrong with it. But, you know, for those of us that understand our worth and understand that, you know, that rhetoric of, you should be happy just to be working. That's bullshit. Straight up and down. That's bullshit. Anytime you, nobody should be doing anything to do with half ass. And that's just where I'm at with my life. I've been trying to do shit half ass for, you know, a long time. And I'm just over that shit. I'm coming for it all. Because they told me I'm not supposed to have it. So I'm going to come get it. That's just where I'm at with it. So that's my little spiel. Um, that's what's been going on with me. More videos are coming when they come. But I'm busy right now. I'm just running, man. I'm running and sleeping, running and sleeping, running and sleeping, learning. I'm spending a lot. Of, I used to spend a lot of my time during the day just watching bullshit videos and trying to keep myself entertained. But what I'm trying to do now, doing my driving shift, is educate myself more. So I'm listening to more finance stuff, business stuff, um, and things to that nature. So, you know, it's not leaving a lot of time to you know, make videos and shit like that because I'm just so consumed with all this information that I'm trying to take in over the course of a 24-hour day. So, But I will do better with doing videos. I'm going to try to give y'all at least two of them a week, maybe three. Let y'all know what's going on with me. Um, some decisions that I'm considering making um, and if I make them or not. And um, I'll let y'all know, man. But as always, you already know what it is. Stay safe, stay positive, stay productive. God family trucking. As always, remember Every day is another step closer to where you want to be in life. 
So keep pushing, because I'm damn sure is.